Lucio Negod, Weblev and Stawatong. Welcome to Beginner Cherokee One here on RSU TV. I believe this is episode seven, um, and this is a continuation of our uh, fifth lesson. So uh, we were talking about myself, right? Osio Weblev and Stawatong, Chalaki Cantino. Unole tawatong, jitalagi, jiskaya, ichula jitalagi ayeji yoneg, right? Jalagi ayetli tagila staneho. I work at Cherokee Nation, right? And juhudle di tlaiko, the keg, butler, du donas kaduki. Butler is the name of the community that I grew up in. Sita Janil. Uh, Butler, right? And so that we talked all about that. And, and um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to skip uh, forward just a little bit and we're going to learn a, a little uh, about a much more interesting person than myself, okay? Um, so we're going to um, talk to Miss Peggy uh, for a few minutes, all right? So, um, so I want to welcome Miss Peggy back. <laughs> Osio? Osio. 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 Don't you go? Do you go no deal? In the south. Do you go no? Do you go no? Do you go no? Do you go no? Vain. Vain. Osta. Si is go no hinel? Si do no hinel. Osta, osta. Do you go no? Do you go no? So, I agree to choose. I agree to choose. Sudal, sudal, kerja kau lagi yang ni tinggi list lagi ka? Ah, osta, osta. Kit list cak ka? Hmm, cung, lagi ka, ki. Aida, sahwa lagi ka, ale aguet lagi list atuh, sahwa weka, nawan osti nail sahwa weka. Ah, os. Tuh tuh tuh. Ayah ujel itu Roxy tu tau. Nawan Agili sejus Duke tu tau. Nawan na Ostinel Gil Sadie. Sadie. I was trying to figure out how to say a coon dog. Oh, he's a coon. He's a hound. Yeah. I can know how to do a cut. No get how Australia has gone. Yeah. Australia has gone. No get. Like that. Like that. Yeah. You can know how to do it. Where's the no? Where's the doggy? Let's see. So we talk to Nick. ฮิสก์ฮิสก์เดียวฮิสก์เดียวเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ
uh, I think where she was from, and she said Dog Nugo, and uh, which is Dugana um, uh, um, in the south. It's in the south part of Jalagia Yetli and the south part of Cherokee Nation. And um, so Dog um, Nugo is Vianne. Uh, is the Cherokee word for the name of, Di of Vianne. And uh, I asked her if she still lived there, and she said, yes, she still lived there. So um, hopefully you picked up on that. What else did I ask? I asked if she had any children. She said, yes. Uh, she had one child, um, a son. And um, I didn't ask what his name was, did I? So, but um, I had one son. And then um, she talked about her grandkids. Um, and then we, uh, we talked about pets. I asked if she had dogs. And she said, yeah, three dogs. She has one. And her husband, Ostinel, Ostinel, um, the, the, um, which is kind of like, um, say, the one that lives with you, right? Like Ostinel, Ganel, right? We, we learned that word, Ganel, Ostinel. Yeah, we uh, lives with me or live together, right? And... Um, and uh, said that uh, has a coon dog, um, uh, Sadie, dude, don't. And um, hers, um, her dog was named Roxy, is that right? And then her grandson's dog was named Duke. Um, um, and then we asked about cats, and I said, well, you have any cats? And, she, and there was a bunch. I mean, I'd squeeze, <laughs> waste, uh, five or six, right? Yeah. Six, Suda, Suda, Wes, and uh, I ask, Wes uh, us Anid, Anidas, uh, Anid. We learned the word ot for the word uh, for um, a baby animal, right? Uh, Anid is the plural of ot. So, um, and she said, Yeah, three of them are three of them are kittens. So, and the other three are are adults. And then I asked where she where she worked. And she said, um, she's a teacher. She said, I'm a teacher at Cave Springs um, School. And uh, I said, oh, yeah. I said, and, and do you like it? And she said, yeah, she likes it. So, so um, if her, her principal is watching, um, she loves her job, but she could use a raise. So, you know, that's what she said. No, no, I'm just kidding. That's not what she said. But, but she does like her job. So. Um, and I know she does. I know she's very passionate about um, uh, our people, um, and um, she's uh, very passionate about the language. So I'm always happy to to have her uh, with us, uh, sharing her knowledge. She comes from a, a very well known in the Cherokee community. She comes from a very very well known family family of singers and and um, a family of very strong women. Um, um, They'll, they'll often joke and they'll say, oh, those Gertie women, right? You know, so, um, but her mom is, uh, her mom and her grandma and her, all of her sisters, they're all um, very well known and very good advocates for, um, for the Cherokee people and, and the Ketua people um, as well. So, as we're all, um, um, right? we're all, we're all Ketuas, right? Um, just some of us are Cherokee Nation, some of us are Katua Nation. So anyway, so um, next what we're going to do is if we could uh, look at my computer screen for just a second. Um, we're going to learn about this man that you've been seeing um, all this time. So uh, the picture that's here and the picture that's on the backdrop behind me um, this is a man, he's a very, very famous man, but I don't want to give it away if you don't already know who he is. So we're going to learn about him, but we're going to learn about him all entirely in Cherokee. And uh, this man is a bit of a mystery. He's one of the most studied Cherokees um, in history. However, very little is absolutely for sure known about his life. Um, so um, even uh, among his descendants, they have differing opinions um, uh, and, and differing stories about who he was and what he did and, and all of this kind of thing. So we're going to learn a, bit, a little bit about him, okay? So um, let's see. Oh, 
gosh, and I started in the middle, so we're going to have to go back. All right. Okay, the first thing, Ashkayang, Ashkayang. Of course, we could guess that probably. He's a man, right? Ijula. We learned that whenever I was talking about myself. Ijula, both. Ijul, ajalagi. Cherki ale and ayonegsku gehe. Okay. Also white. Gehe. Gehe just means he was. Okay. Um, there's kind of four different ways to say was. We can say gehe, 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 And to some extent they're interchangeable, but not. Really, I mean, you know, there there is a, a pattern to, to how to, when and how to use them, and and hopefully we'll suss that out as we use them more and more, right? Okay. Ijula jalagi ale ayone skuge he. Sigwoya do don e do don e. So you can see here do don. A lot of times that's what we use for name. Do don e was his name. Okay, that puts it in the past tense, right? There are two, in Cherokee, we have two versions of the past tense. We have the, the past tense of, of, of facts, and then we have the, the past tense that somebody else told to you, right? Um, and, and that's not a hard and fast rule either. They, they kind of float <laughs> a little bit. So, sequoia, sequoia. And a lot of people... Um, talk about what his name meant, um, because probably as you've figured out through the course, depending on how you pronounce a, a word, it can mean something different, right? Um, for example, uwodu is pretty. Uwodu, beautiful, more pretty, right? And, um, you know, una has something flexible. Una, um, and, and there, you know, so. Um, or over there. So, uh, sequoia. Some people say sequoia um, um, means um, young pig. Some people have um, said it means, uh, but the, the story that I like the best is one that was told to me by Benny Smith Jigesa, and, and he said that if you take this um, and you break it down and you say sequo, Sigu means more, or again, more. Siguoya, and this was a name, and, and to him, this indicates he does more, because he did, he did more for his people. Um, so I like that. It, it kind of tends to um, fit what he did in life, and so I tend to go with that translation of, of what his name meant. Turkey Town, Alabama. Udene Sigoya. Okay? Udene means he was born. Okay? Udene. Turkey Town, Alabama. Udene Sigoya. George Guest. Du do e yonegi gunti. Okay? So that was his white name, was George Guest. Sigoya Udod. Ayone gehe. Okay. Sequoia udod. We learned edod and agidod. This is udod, his dad. Right? Ayone gehe was white. Sequoia's father was white. Nathaniel guess du do e sequoia udod. So um, Nathaniel guess was the name of Sequoia's dad. Um, although um, even that fact is not uh, set in stone. There are people that disagree and say, no, um, it was actually another man who was, was his father. But um, most scholars tend to agree that Nathaniel Guest do do e. Okay. Sikoya uji ajalagi ge he. So Sikoya's mother, ajalagi ge he, was Cherokee. And this is very important because in a long time ago, especially when Sigoya was born, we operated on a clan system. 
we get our clan system from our mothers. And so because his mother was Cherokee, then he automatically had a clan. So that meant he fit into Cherokee society and, and, and into Cherokee government, okay? So, so that was, was very important at this transitional time um, uh, in our Cherokee history. So Zikoyu Uji, Ajalagi Gehe. So Zikoyu's mother was Cherokee. Wu Te, okay? Du Do E, Zikoyu Uji. Wu Te, Du Do E, Zikoyu Uji. So Wu Te was her name, okay? Zikoyu's mom's name. Ani ji squa ju yang ge he wu te. Ani ji squa. So we learned um, this this ani right means a group of people. Ji squa means bird. Ju yang we. So this was her clan. She was from the bird clan. Okay. Ani ji squa ju yang we bird clan ge he was wu te was um, wu te. Okay, so let's, before we go on, let's ask um, some um, questions about just this part. So the first question was, Sigoya hardla u de ne. Sigoya hardla where? Hardla u de ne. Born. Sigoya. Where was Sigoya born? Turkey Town, Alabama u de ne. Sigoya. Turkey Town, Alabama u de ne. Sigoya. Ayoneg uh Ayonegas Ajalagi ke gehe Udota Udota So his dad was he Ajalagi Ayoneg A Ajalagi Sayoneg ke gehe Udota Sigoya Udod Udota Ayoneg Gehe Ayoneg Gehe So he was his father was white. Sigoya Udod Kato Usti Du Don't eh? Sigoya Udod Kato Usti Du Don't eh? What was Sigoya's father's name? Nathaniel Guess Du Don't eh? Sigoya Udod Nathaniel Guess Du Don't eh? Sigoya Udod Kato Usti Du Don't eh? Sigoya Uji Uji, remember Edgy? Uji, his mother. Kato usti du do e, sigoya uji. Wu te, du do e, sigoya uji. Wu te, du do e, sigoya uji. Wu te was Sequoia's mother's name. Okay? Kato usti, ju yang we, clan, ge he, wu te. Kato usti, what? Ju yang we, clan. Gehe was Wu Te was Wu Te Ani Ji Squa Ju Yangwe Gehe Wu Te Ani Ji Squa Ju Yangwe Gehe Wu Te All right, so um, Miss Peggy, would you mind um, coming up and, and reading uh, the first part of this story and then we'll do the, the second part here in just a second. Okay, so it's not up on the screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is. Okay. Okay, Ashkaya. Ijula Ajalagi Ale Ayone Gishku Gehe. Sigoya Dudo E. Turkey Town, Alabama Udene Sigoya. George Gess Dudo E. Yoneg Yonegi Gut. Sigoya Udoda Ayone Gehe. Nathaniel Gess Dudo E. Sigoya Udod. Sigoya Uji Ajalagi Gehe Wu Te Dudo E Sigoya Uji Ani Ji Squa Ju Ni Yo Gehe Ani Ji Squa Ju Yo Gehe Wu Te 
All right. What though, Miss Piggy? Well, we'll have you come up and and um, read the the next part as well. So, all right. Okay. So we're going to continue on with Segoya's story. So it says, John E. Juice da young her skin do away, kahe, Segoya. Okay. John E. Sawu tall John. Juice da young her Juice da young her This is, um, means wives, plural, wives. Do away, kahe, Segoya. Okay. So he had three wives. And again, this is not um, set in stone. Some genealogies say that he had as many as six wives. So, you know, and, and he was kind of a relatively young man when he passed. So, you know, he's a popular dude. <laughs> and uh, he, was, he was kind of the, I don't know, the, the rock star of the, of the Cherokee world, I guess. So, but anyway, so, So, Akai first Ustaya Sarah Binge do Don't Her name was Sarah Binge. Sikoya Ale Sarah Sawu Ayotli Uni Kahe. They had one child. Rachel Guess do Don't Rachel Guess was her name. Rachel she was a daughter, obviously. Well, I mean, you know, they could, could have a son named Rachel. It's possible. Um, don't mess around with a boy named Sue, right? So, Rachel. Second, we learned that the word tatli means two. Tatline, second. So that ne at the end make, uh, changes it from a, a cardinal to an ordinal, okay? Tatline usta yunhusk utiu langli du do e utiu langli naki dini yotli du ni kahe sikoya ale utiu naki sawutal na jong nuk so I was doing it with my fingers and not doing it with my my mouth sawutal jong nuk okay naki dini yotli du ni kahe sikoya ale Utiu. Okay? So had four kids. Dini Yotli means children. Okay? Ayotli, one child. Dini Yotli, more than one child. Right? Okay? So let's, um, let's, uh, before we ask the questions, let's go ahead and, and bring this Peggy up and have her read this part. Okay? And then I'll ask you the questions. Maybe, maybe that'll be better rather than backing up. Okay. Joey, Joey, you stay a husk to wear cohesive goya. A girl, you stay a husk, Sarah Binge, do it on. Sequoia, I let Sarah, Sawu, a yorkly unique cohe. Rachel Guess, do it on. Rachel, who wears a gay her gay. Talina, who stay a husk, who tea you langly do it on. Nucky, Dinny, your do need cohesive goy. I'll let you tell you. All right. What though? Mm. All right. So um, hopefully you were trying to kind of uh, follow the meaning as she was saying that. So and kind of follow the, the storyline. You, you already know it in English. So um, uh, hopefully we were able to kind of know where she was at as she was, was talking. So let's ask some questions, okay? Halayani Jushtayan Husk. Um, do we kahe sikoya? Hilayani, Hilayani, how many? Hilayani, juice da yan husk. Do we kahe sikoya? How many wives? Juice da yan husk. Do we kahe sikoya? Did sikoya have? Jo e yani. Jo e yani juice da yan husk. Do we kahe sigoya? Do we kahe sigoya? Don't e sawutal don't, right? Kato usti do don't e a kui 
What was the name of the first wife? Sarah Binge. Do don't eh? Akai usta yahask. Sarah Binge. Do don't eh? Akai usta yahask. Halaya ni dini yotli. Do ni kahe sigoya ale Sarah. Hilaya ni. How many? Dini yotli. Kids. Do ni kahe. Did they have sigoya ale Sarah? Sawu a yotli uni kahe sikoya ale sera. Sawu, only one. Sawu wu. <laughs> Sawu. Sawu yani a yotli uni kahe sikoya ale sera. A geha saskaya ke na uwej juni kahe sikoya ale sera. So, agehas askayake, agehas askayake, or male or female, right? Uwej ageha uni kahe sigoya ale sera. Okay? Ageha, a daughter, not a son. Tatline usta yahask, got the usti do doe. Tatline usta yahask, got the usti do doe. Utiu langley, utiu langley, do doe. Tatline usta yahask. Utiu langley, do doe was the name. Tatline second usta yahask. Wife. Okay? Halaya ni dini yotli du ni kahe sigoya ale utiyu. Halaya ni how many dini yotli? Children du ni kahe had sigoya ale utiyu. Sigoya and utiyu. Let's see. Nuki yani, nuki yani, duni kahe sikuya ale utiyu. Had four. Okay. Nuki yani, dini yotli duni kahe sikuya ale utiyu. All right. So let's see if there's more to the story. Joine ustayahask. Sally Waters, du do eh? Don't eat any usta yahask. Sally Waters do don't eh? Third wife. Nuki dini yotli do ni kahe. Sikoya ale Sally. Nuki sawutal jo nuk. Nuki dini yotli do ni kahe. Sikoya ale Sally. So we're up to nine, right? And these are really hard for me to pronounce because a lot of times the people back then, of course, I mean, you know, we don't have a standardized spelling now, but even back then they just spelled it however. But to my near, the, to the, as near as I can tell, eyaku guuneki uluza ale tisi dundoe na dini yoli ji duni kahe sigoya ale sali. Now, none of those names make, uh, are, are familiar to me. Because a lot of names, you know, tend to be passed down. Um, uh, for example, um, Jawayuk, um, I've heard several people name that. You know, Chikeyu seems to be a popular. Uh, Uluta, the, the Uluta. Um, have you ever heard of Eyaku? Yeah, Gu'uniki. <laughs> yeah, I, so TC. Now, that one's not a bad, that would, I'd name a kid that. <laughs> TC. Yeah. Um, so, um, that, was, that was the names of the children that um, Sequoia and Sally had. 
Now, like I said, there are accounts that there were as many as six wives and, and as many as 16 children and, or 23 children. And, you know, so, um, again, uh, accounts vary uh, quite a bit. But um, as near as uh, this was the most corroborated uh, family tree of, of Sequoia that I could find. Um, uh, kind of makes you wonder how he ever found time to invent a syllabary, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, so, and he was a blacksmith and a silversmith on top of that, and he was an orator, and he was a, a council, he was a, um, a uh, uh, he went to other tribes and, and like spoke, you know, and tried to get them to make peace. I, I, don't, I can't even think of what that would be, a, a diplomat. He was kind of a diplomat, and he was also an adventurer. He went to Mexico, Mexico, and, and um, looking for the lost Cherokees and, and actually died there. So, you know, he's a busy, busy dude, and I, I bet he didn't sleep much. So, um, all right, so uh, Miss Peggy, could you come up and read these last three um, facts uh, about Sequoia? <laughs> and I may have them wrong, who knows? <laughs> so uh Joine, who's tie your husk. Sally Waters do don't eh? Naki de ni yo do ni kahe shagoy ale sally. Iyagu guneki gunegi uluje ale T C do n do enough de ni yo to do ni kahe shagoy ale sally. All right, what don't what don't so um, this goes, just goes to show that, that language, um, even at the beginner level, you can use language um, to learn other things, right? And, and ironically enough, you, you tend to remember them more um, when you learn them in a, in a different language. So I don't know why that is. Our brains are kind of weird, I guess. But all right. So um, let's uh, ask some questions about this very last part, all right? So kata usti do don't eh? So ine usta yahusk. Kata usti do don't e. So ine usta yahusk. If we can remember, Sally Waters. Do don't e. So ine usta yahusk. Sally Waters was her name. Um, Helaya ni di ni yotli do ni kahe sikwoya ale Sally. Helaya ni di ni yotli. Do ni kahe sigoya ale sali. Na ki di ni yotli do ni kahe sigoya ale sali. All right. So this um, before we um, go to um, the review, let's just read um, all in a row, let's read the entire story. So what I would like for you to do is, um, I'm gonna read it first, okay? And then I'm gonna get Miss Peggy to come in and read the entire thing um, one time as well. And um, as we're telling the story, of course, now you know the story in English. So I want you to just think about where we're at in the, in the process, okay? So um, I'll read it first and then I'll have Miss Peggy come up and she'll read it as well. Um, and then we'll uh, go through the story, okay? All right. Ashkaya. I jula ajalagi aye ale ayone exku gehe. Sikwoya do don't eh? Turkey Town, Alabama, and ude ne sikwoya. George Guest do don't eh? Yone gigant. Sikwoya uto ayone gehe. Nathaniel guess do don't eh sigoya u do. Sigoya uji a jalaki gehe. Wu te do don't eh sigoya uji. Ani ji squa ju yawi gehe. Wu te. All right. Chon e. Chusta yahas do we kahe. Sigoya. A kai usta yaha sera benj du doe. Sikoya ale sera sawu a yotli uni kahe. Rachel guess du doe. 
Rachel, u wedge ok hi again he. Tant line us to yahusk u ti u langley do doe. Nurki di ni yotli do ni kahesi goya ale u ti. John ine us to yahusk Sally Waters do doe. Nurki di ni yotli do ni kahesi goya ale Sally. Iaku gu neki uluce ale tisi dun doe na dini oli ji duni kahe sikoya ale sally. All right. So that was quite the story. Okay, so we're going to have Miss Peggy come up and, and read the, the story to you. That's it. Mm hmm. Askaya Izula Ajalaki Ale Ayon Negin Skukehe Segoi Du Doe Turkey Town, Alabama Uden Segoi George Gess Du Doe Yon Negi Gut Segoi Udoda Ayon Negehe Nathaniel Gess Du Doe Segoi Udod Sigoi Uji Ajala Gehe Wute do don a Sigoi Uji Aniji is what you year we gehe Wute Joey, do star your husk do way Kahe Sigoi Agoi, who star your husk Sarah Binge do don a Si boy ale Sarah saw wo a yor uni kahe. Rachel guess do don e. Rachel u wear ja gay ya gay. Talina u staya husk u ti u langly do don e. Nucky di ni yor do ni kahe si boy ale u ti u. So in a ustaya his Sally Waters do do e Nucky dini yo do ni kahe sagoi ale Sally Iagu guneki uluce ale tisi do do e na dini yo to do ni kahe sagoi ale Sally Alright What do? Mm -hmm. What do? Okay so um, for those of you that don't know, um, Sequoia um, uh, invented the uh, Cherokee syllabary, which is the writing system that we have today. Um, what some people don't know, and, and this is how I heard the story, this is how the story came to me, was that his original writing system looked nothing like what we have now. But um, Sequoia, um, uh, uh, he grew up uh, near Fort Loudoun, uh, which uh, is in present-day Tennessee. Uh, and according to the story, the, he would watch the soldiers write letters and send letters off and get letters in return. And then they would um, exchange information, and, and he just found that to be absolutely amazing. And he was like, well, you know, if, if um, the, the Aniyone can do it, then, then we Cherokees, we should have that too. We should be able to do the same thing in our language. So he, he began work on, on the system. He, they said he was a very, very great artist, and he had kind of started on a similar system. He was a, a blacksmith. And so when people would come in to have work done, um, he would draw and you know and, and he would do things on credit you know and and so he would draw a likeness of the person and then he would draw you know say a wagon wheel or whatever it was that he was fixing or making for them next to them and then he would keep tally marks on how much they paid for that and um, that was his accounting system that's how he kept track of of who owed him money and um, who was paid up and, and that kind of thing so he kind of had a, a concept of of this and 
And so according to the story that said a long time ago, um, said he created a picture for every word in the Cherokee language. And he was working on that and he would scratch them on, on little pieces of parchment and little pieces of bark and, and whatever he had. And he had a little workshop down, down by the river. And um, according to, um, and so he had thousands of them. He had, he had spent years on this and, and created thousands of them. And um, so if, if he had continued with that system, we would have had a, a system similar to uh, Mandarin Chinese, Hanzi, right? Um, where they have a character for each and every word, um, which uh, works. However, it, it makes illiteracy very, very high because you have to have a great memory to mem remember all of those different characters. So um, I think probably it was lucky that his wife um, at that time, uh, some people say that, that she was uh, crazy. Uh, some people say that uh, she had been uh, missionized. She had become a Christian and she became um, terrified of going to hell. And um, so she was, and so she became convinced that her husband was in league with the devil and and that he was uh you know doing witchcraft and so uh it says that one night she burnt his his workshop to the ground and he lost all of those years of work uh that's how one of the story goes uh, then it continues on and it says that he of course he became very very depressed and and he became an alcoholic um, I, I would probably drink too if all my work got set up and smoked by my wife, you know, burn it up. But uh, <laughs> probably make me want to drink. But um, according to the story, he was down by the river and he was listening to the water going over the rocks. And as he sat there listening, it came to him that um, certain sounds would repeat themselves over and over and over again. And so it came to him that the tricky language was the same, that we had sounds that were repeating themselves over and over again. So he started listening in on conversations. And keep in mind that if the other story was true, that people were already suspecting him of witchcraft and they thought he was a little bit off, you know, or whatever. So, um, so they, they already thought there was something a little wrong with him. And then here um, he started listening to people's conversations and he started... Um, kind of uh, making himself sort of a nuisance, I guess, you know, because he was always eavesdropping on, on these conversations and stuff. But it came out that, that he uh, identified that our language contained 86 different sounds. So he set to work creating 86 characters for um, these sounds that they made. And again, this is one version of the story. There are many, many different versions. Um, and... So the, the original version, and you can actually see here in Tulsa, if you go to the Gilcrease Museum, you can see an example of his original syllabary. And it was very beautiful. It was very uh, flowy and cursive-y. And I mean, it had lots of humps and, and squiggles. And, and uh, it was really pretty to look at. And uh, so uh, he was... Uh, he brought this before Tribal Council, the National Council, which was newly formed at that time. And he said, hey, you know, I've got this writing system. And they were like, yeah, you know, get out of here. You're crazy. So uh, uh, according to the story, they put him to the test. And what they did is they took him and um, they took his uh, one of his daughters, uh, Hyok, um, and took her far away. And they said, OK, they said, we're going to tell you something and you have to do it verbatim. And so they told him something and he wrote it down and gave it to them. They took it to Ahyok and she read it. You know, so Ahyok was the first person that he taught his syllabary system to. And he read it verbatim. And the people were so amazed that they immediately um, came to uh, be converted and, and want to learn this system. And, and so almost overnight, our, our people became illiterate people and we, we had our own writing system and it became very, very popular. Um, they said that a speaker could learn to uh, read and write within two weeks, you know, so it was a very efficient system. Um, and then according to the story, Samuel Wooster and Elias Boudinot wanted to buy, they wanted to create a newspaper because at this time, 
the threat of the Trail of Tears was coming, their threat of removal was coming, and they wanted to create a newspaper to not only to let the Cherokee people know what was going on, but also to let um, sympathetic um, Americans, uh, you know, uh, white people also know what was going on. There were a lot of societies uh, in the Northeast at that time, women's societies that that were sending aid and those kinds of things. And so you know, they wanted to let them know. So it was also kind of a, a political tool to um, help win people to our cause. So they were like, well, we're going to spend money. We're going to buy a movable type machine. And so they bought the machine and they were like, okay, now we have to have all of these 86 characters carved, multiples of each one, and then, you know, many, many different sizes. And so they, you know, and, and so it was going to be astronomical in price. And so according to the story, a guy sold them some extra type that he just kind of had lying around. And so they took that and some of them they used um, as is, and then some of them they modified uh, slightly, and they became the characters that we now use today. Um, and so I find it kind of ironic that, that the syllabary that we use is the result of, of um, you know, kind of a bargain basement sale at, at like the dollar store kind of thing, you know, <laughs> it's, you know that it was the result of, of economics, um, you know, really. Uh, was was how it was created, but um, that's uh, the story about where our writing system came from. So, um, so we're we're gonna uh, review just really quickly if we can go back to the computer and we'll just um, we'll just really quickly review. We just have a couple minutes left. So, uh, the first one we have is Achalagi. He or she is Cherokee. Anyoneg. He or she is white. Akaneke, he or she is black. Jinail, I live. Hinail, you live. Ganail, he or she lives. Gadakwal, Gadakwal means clay. Dikeka, I am from. Teka, you are from. Teka, he or she is from. Jiskaya. Remember that G sound means I am. G skaya, I am a man. Ichula, both. Chichalaki, I am Cherokee. Chiyoneg, I am white. Dagila Stanejo, I work at. Repeatedly. Chuhyudlatid, north. Tlaiko, J. Skaduki, community. Didadanehi, brick. Akichi, my mother. Akitota, my father. Chikesa, used to be. Uyohusa, died. Gehe, was. Utehne, born. Utod, his or her father. Uji, his or her mother. Chustayahusk, wives. Ustayahusk, one wife. Uwekahe, had living things. Akui, first. Tatline, second. So in a third, unikahe they had a living thing. Dunikahe they had more than one living thing. Dundoe that was their names. Ayotli is child, and Diniotli is children. And that's all the time that we have for you today. So uh, I just want to say wadon for um, letting me uh, uh, share with you a little bit of Cherokee, and I want to say wadon to. Uh, Miss Peggy for coming and, and being a part of our classes. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the class and you learned a little bit about Sikwoya. Uh, and um, so with that, I'm just going to say, Wadon, Dodadago, Hai, Iti Squata.